hi. <laughs> um, the lighting is kind of funny. Sorry. I try to fix it, but I can't fix it. Um, so, my name is Itali Solis, for those who don't know me, for those who do know me, hello. Um, so, fun fact, my first name is not Itali, that's my middle name, and then my second last name is Solis, so I've never used my first name or my first last name on any social media, because when I first opened social media, I didn't want my family to be able to find me, and I knew that they were going to look for my first name instead, so... But here we are now, where I'm old enough to have social media, so now I'm even making a YouTube. But, um, backtrack five years ago, I posted two YouTube videos, um, forward five years later, I deleted them because I don't know whoever let me post them in the first place. Um, I wasn't sure what to do for my first video, so I wanted to make it just like a quick video, just so... You guys know who I was and everything to jump back in. Um, so I decided to do a little Q&A. Uh, I'll try to speed it up. I'm not going to answer all of them, just like the basic ones. I did get a lot of these questions from like um, Instagram, some from Facebook, some from Snapchat. Uh, yeah. So the first question I got was, where are you from? I was born and raised here in Oregon and my parents are from Zacatecas, so... If you ask me personally, I'm from Zacateca because literally, like, all their traditions, everything, I got. <laughs> so, when they ask me, I just say I'm from Zacateca. Um, un poquito americanada, but that's it. Y gringa no digo because no soy gringa. Claramente. Tengo no pal right here. Um, ¿Quién te enseñó a montar? Este, muchas de las preguntas are like together, like they are basically the same question or they're around the same topic. So, mi papá me enseñó a montar, like todo lo que sé de los caballos, like everything I know, se lo debo a él. So, ¿cuánto tengo montando? Tengo montando muchísimo tiempo. Um, tenía como siete años, la primera vez que me caí así gacho y... Well, les agarré un miedo que no se imaginan. So, no puede, o sea, no los podía ni tener cerquitas porque me daban unos nervios. Um, pero mi papá me montó un caballo, o sea, un caballo súper grande que teníamos, se llamaba el cuento. Y dijo, ¿te quedas o te quedas? O sea, llorando y todo, pero pues me subió. Yo creo que él ni se acuerda, pero yo sí me acuerdo porque tenía un miedo que no se imaginan. Este, total, que después de eso... Otra vez me volvió a montar en otro y pues poquito a poquito me les fui perdiendo el miedo. Me metí a la escaramuza, fui a escaramuza varios años y pues ya, ahorita me salí. Ya tiene tiempo que me salí. Este, aún me fascinan los caballos, aún monto, aún tengo caballo, pero pues ya no estoy, este, ya no soy parte de un equipo, pues. Um, where, what's your workout routine, your hella bomb? So I put the, your hella bomb because you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, agarré muchas así, pero eran separadas, and you're like included it in your question. <laughs> Thank you, likewise. Um, my workout routine varies really. Sometimes I do upper body, lower body, abs. Um, I hate cardio, so I don't really, I mean, I do cardio, but. None of my routines are really like based just on cardio because I like to add something else. Um, I do lift a lot of weights. Um, but yeah, I guess it just depends on the day, different days, different routines. Um, I'm not going to say that all my routines are different because they can be pretty similar. Um, but I do try to include like new things, you know, to not get bored of them or to work out different areas. So how many times I work out? Um, up till June, I think, about, I was working out every day, uh, besides Saturday and Sunday, and obviously days that I just couldn't, I'm sorry about the lighting again, um, there was days that I couldn't work out, but, um, after you start seeing results, like, it's, it becomes, like, so nice, um, I do plan on going back this week or next week, hopefully, um, I do think that it has a lot to do with, uh, how you eat 
So if you eat good and you exercise a lot, you're going to see routines. You're, you're going to see routines. Sorry. You're going to see results a lot quicker. Um, I'm not the best at eating. I do have like a couple meal plans that I do go off of. Um, but I feel like eventually you just kind of start learning how to cook healthier. So when I cook, um, I cook kind of healthy. <laughs> Especially if, I'm, if it's only me eating, I cook healthy. But if I'm feeding everybody, then I don't. <laughs> um, let's see. Even though healthy food is pretty good, it's just literally, I think it's all in your head. Um, spices are your best friend. Uh, how do you stay motivated? Um, I literally, 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 <laughs> it's all about you, like, es lo que tú tienes, the image you have for yourself, what you want to achieve, like, for me personally, I want to be able to be like, okay, like, vi ese vestido o esa camisa o X cosa, lo que sea, y me la quiero poner. Y lo voy a lograr y me la voy a poner. Porque te la puedes poner y no puedes andar. Y puedes, puede que no andes a gusto. Pero, like, working out and working on yourself, like, it's gonna be so much easier. And you're gonna be like, okay, so now I have, I look the way I want and I can wear that and feel 100% okay and feel super confident in it. Um, that's one thing. And another thing, I think it's just health. Um, you know, there's, hereditary illnesses that you can make happen quicker if you don't take care of yourself or if you're overweight or whatever the case may be um, and having an active lifestyle I think personally it doesn't only make you look better but it's also gonna make you feel better and I feel like you can't look good and not feel good like I feel like they should go hand in hand so I think that's a personal opinion though, um, you know, I feel like you should never do it for anybody else either, always do it for you, because at the end of the day, you're the only one that got to you, um, my god, this lighting is terrible, I'm so sorry, um, 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 how do you get your hair so long and healthy, um, my hair, right now, it's kind of up, I'll show you guys how long it is, um, it's pretty long. It's probably going to be really nappy because I've had it in a bun all day. So sorry beforehand. Um, but I think it's just about trying to take care of it, trimming it. Um, trimming it. I haven't trimmed it in a while, so sorry. But um, yeah, you know, not like I said, don't put that much chemicals in it. Try to not burn it. If you're gonna do like a scrunchy hair, like a like you're gonna scrunch your hair the next day, braid it instead of, you know, curling it, semi curling it or whatever, burning it. Um, I also I look like Lord Farquaad. <laughs> um, also, also, um, coconut oil is super good for it. It depends, obviously. Um, Savila is really good for your hair as well. I mean, it kind of depends, you know, some people have dry hair, some people have more oily hair, um, and then it depends on the seasons and on the time, like, sometimes my hair, like, looks super good, and other days, like, it looks like I haven't washed it for, like, five days, and I had just washed it the night prior. Um, just, like, make sure to, like, take care of it, because if you don't take care of it, then it kind of goes down the drain altogether. Um, I can't fix it anymore. <laughs> Not as sad. Um... Sorry, I'm like trying to like be in your guys' level. Um, career goals. Um, at the end, so not make it super long, I want to be a behavior analyst. I want to work with people, but more in the criminal field. So my career or my major is going to be criminal uh, forensic psychology. Um, and that way I can have a criminal perspective on it as well as a psychology perspective on like different situations and stuff like that um i can also get jobs in the criminal field and as well as the psychology field so i think both of the things i want to do work hand in hand together uh are you in college i graduated from a community college this past june sorry my hair is bugging me this past june i do 
plan to move to the university. I'm just not sure yet if I'm staying in state or going out of state. Um, do I work? I do work. I work and study. Because um, college is not cheap. I feel like even with scholarships, I got a scholarship. Um, I've gotten scholarships and they there's still other stuff you have to pay like regardless of what it is there's a lot of stuff you have to pay and i feel like if you were working and you're in school like literally keep it up like so much respect to you for you because like i've been there i've done that and i'm gonna keep doing that to because loans can kick your butt later in the long run so i don't want to take out loans or if i ever do i don't want to take out like a lot of loans um, future plans. Oof. Have a family. I actually have that question. Do you want to have kids? I do. I want to have a big family. Um, four, six kids. I know I say that now. People with kids are always like, you're going to regret that. You're not going to say that when you have your first kid. So, as of now, I want a big family. I do plan on getting married. I got that one as well. Um, you know, just be stable eventually, have a good career, have a good life, um, be united, give out all the love in the world, honestly. Um, I also want to travel. I want to travel, uh, get to know different places, um, you know, go to all the places I've always wanted to go, whether it's now or it's later when I have kids and when I have a family. Or go twice make it one one for the one for the one time and the second for the family time um, honestly like tambo y vas so yeah me encanta bailar um, como diría mi mamá si así fueras para trabajar fueras millonaria <laughs> But, um, yeah, I love to dance. Uh, ba bailo casi de todo. A lo mejor no soy buena, pero pues el intento le hago. Y pues cada quien su estilo, que okay. Bueno, yo digo. Um, there's a lot of these I feel like, should I even answer them? <laughs> I should, but, um, I don't want to make it too long. So, yeah. Um, I think that's all for today. My birthday is November 6th. Um, what do I want to be when I get older? Um, I think, yeah, I already answered that in my career goals. My favorite color. I like black as well as, like, neutral colors. Um, but mostly black. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is my first, like, real good video. I don't know if it's any good, but real video that I actually present myself and kind of talk about myself. Um, so those, for those who don't know me, again, my name is Lali Solis. Um, nice to meet you. Uh, you guys can go follow me on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. On Instagram, I'm Sitlali underscore Solis. Uh, thank you for watching and, well, I'll see you guys again eventually. <laughs> Um, I also hope you guys can like give me more ideas of what else I can post or what you guys would like to see. Um, I'm mostly posting for family and friends. Uh, I'll post probably like a lot of like family adventures or you know adventures that I go on with friends or whatever. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe, share. <laughs> Just kidding, you don't have to share. I mean, if you want to. Um, yeah, like comment, whatever. Have a good day, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching.